Hello, MC Mining Caveman here. Um, I thought I would go ahead and do a uh, small tutorial on how to do an auto pig cooker, um, especially on the uh, Crystal Craft server, being that you can uh, obtain uh, pig spawners in the store and at some of the uh, higher donor ranks. Now this is a, uh, you can make them fairly compact, but this is, um, the inside dimensions are 9 by 5. Um, the reason being is you got uh, 3 wide for the spawning area, a gap on all sides for the pigs to fall down. Uh, you got the uh, 8 uh, water flow spaces and then a uh, channel for lava. Now, you can pretty much build the outside of this with anything you want, but uh, for the uh, pigs to spawn, you'll want a combination of uh, grass and um, uh, packed ice. I have found those to be the uh, best combinations in uh, my attempts of building this. Uh, you can use regular ice, and the problem is you'll have to uh, um, find a way to light this differently. Um, this this is compact enough that it shouldn't spawn any other mobs, uh, being that's water. None of the too tall should spawn in there, and there's not enough room for a spider to spawn up here. But if you like to keep your stuff lit up. Um, to uh, to uh, count down, cut down on the possibility of other mobs to spawn, um, you'll definitely want packed ice. But um, and I I used glowstone under each of the spawners as my light source just to keep it nice and bright. And then of course you just have a a regular hopper array to uh, catch it, although you could build a uh, much more uh, resource friendly one um, right up under right up under this uh, level of signs. Anyway, let me uh, hop to it. Um, you'll just want to uh, build up a little bit and then uh, so a minimum of five wide for uh, for maximum uh, efficiency. Now there's ways you can tweak this to make it more compact, but a good uh, a good efficient uh, one that I've come up with will follow this pattern. So uh, the inside is five, so you'll want an extra one on the sides to be your your walls. And that's uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then the back wall. So just fill that in. So there's there's your primary base and if you if you're digging this out then you only need to dig out the inside dimensions and you can leave leave the walls present but if you're going to build this as a standalone this is what you need to do now you put water sources to verify that it's uh, the proper proper length and then this is where your uh, drop down will be. So you'll want, you do want a gap. I've built this where uh, the lava level is right where this, uh, where these signs are on the top. And sometimes, uh, a lot of the times, the pigs don't have enough fall momentum to fall through the lava and get cooked. They'll just they'll just kind of like die in the lava and burn up their uh, pork drops. 
So you, so I found for uh, best efficiency that you definitely want to have a uh, another uh, a space between the water lip and uh, the lava source. So um, actually, you would want to do water as your last thing, just so you don't get pushed off into your own lava. So I love, I like putting a row of signs above um, lava just so that there isn't a water issue when it comes to it. And then you'll need the row that uh, holds the lava with signs placed so that the lava does not flow downward. And then you would just put lava sources in each. Now you could do you could do a single lava and let it flow. Well, if you were to do that, you would probably want to put the lava source block in the middle. So if you're if you're tight on resources. Um, you can do it that way. Um, so, and then you'll want to build it up several layers. So, if this is the level for the water, I found now you can go ahead and start building your uh, spawning platform one above the water source um, but I have found that that is not necessarily the uh, most uh, efficient way to do it um, you can definitely build this in your own uh, creative world and uh, tweak it a little bit to see how it'll work for your um, for your particular setup. But if you leave the water source and then uh, a gap and then build up above, um, that seems to do a lot better. So, it, yeah, it would look like that in the end. But let me. Okay, so let me get this built up to that level alright so you'll want to do a gap around the edges so you'll do um, a grass your light source which is where uh, the mob spawner goes and then you just alternate that and you can get uh, three mob spawners into this setup so if you're gonna follow my design you'll put grass blocks touching the uh, the light source the glowstone or a pumpkin and then you put the packed ice in all the uh, other spots around. Now if you have just regular ice you could put it there. Obviously you wouldn't be able to use glowstone there. Um, and you would have to light, if you want to light it, you'd have to light it off, um, off to the side somehow. I just like keeping my stuff lit up so that if there seems to be a problem or something, I could hop up in here and instead of spamming it with torches or something, it's already good to go. So, you would go ahead and uh, build up around it again.
Now, I build mine out of glass just so that it is easier to see. Um, I've done that. I do that in my uh, survival player uh, at, on Crystal Craft. I just made it out of glass so that um, I could just watch and be able to see how it's doing. Now, if you are, um, I'm just going to go ahead and use this glowstone to simulate the mob spawner. Now, if you're hollowing it out, um, if this is going to be like inside uh, a, a cave or something that you're hollowing it out, sometimes, say this is the top of your cave, um, sometimes I've noticed that the uh, efficiency of the spawner doesn't pump out the uh, pigs very fast when there is no air block above it. So if you're going to uh if you're going to dig it out if you're if you're hollowing out a cave I would recommend you give a uh another space above and and then cap this off with like a a, a stone wall or a fence or or something so that uh, the pigs would not be able to spawn above it. But if you're going to make it out of glass like I am, glass acts as a transparent thing which does not prevent, um, does not seem to slow down uh, the spawn rate at all. So you would just go ahead and cover the whole thing so the the inside dimensions are five by nine and then one two three four you only need to dig out one two three four so five by nine by four uh, if you uh, well five if you want to give another air block above that to digging it out And then you just fill this all in, your ceiling. Uh, being as a transparent block, uh, mobs are not supposed to spawn on it. And then let me go ahead and lay the water source back down. And then you just plop your mob spawners, your pig spawners, as you get them, as you're able to afford them on Crystal Craft, or, um, or whatever server if you're able to acquire them. And the, uh, it's, it's, it's a passive spawn, it's, it's all passive, and I say passive because as the pigs spawn on the grass blocks, they start walking around, and they'll either slide off the ice, or they will um, uh, push each other off the ice and into the water, and then they will fall through here. And I did see this one walk over here. He didn't die on impact. Now that one's built quite a bit higher, but if if you need to. Um, you can make, you know, a a shoot that uh, guides them a little bit better, or you can just, I believe, see, I've always had them fall, but let me see if it works. run it for a little bit, see if there's more than two. Because sometimes the um, their drops will pop up 
or sideways or something and might clip the lava if you do it this close. Let's see, a couple more. Well, let's just go ahead and check. So yeah, um, you'll probably want to have a little bit more gap. Let's see after this piggy dies. So, base, uh, you know, it's going to be slightly random because you aren't killing it with the uh, looting. But yeah, this is a. So. Oops. So you could do it this way. And then put your. Uh, chest right here. Now that way, they aren't touching the lava when they die. I uh, guarantee they won't be touching the lava when they die. So this is a this is a way to get uh three spawners in a regular just a natural water flow setup. So this one's been running for oh let's see about twenty minutes and I've already got that much. A stack and a quarter almost. So as long as you're close enough for the spawners to work, um this will this will give you plenty of food very quickly. So I uh, hope this uh, helps you all on uh, how to make a uh, on a uh, pig auto cooker. And uh, thanks for watching my video. See you next time. Bye.